Hello, so this is going to be a quick breakdown of how to communicate between channels using um, Chops and Python. So um, let's just quickly put down a constant Chop and what we can see here real quick is that there is a channel. It has a name, Chan1. This can easily be changed here um, as uh, my channel, for example. And uh, if we look at it, there only is one channel right now. So the number of this channel will be channel 0. If I were to create a second channel, this one would be channel number 1. Even though it's the second channel, we start counting at 0. So um, what I wanted to show you is how do I take a value of a channel like this and send it to a different parameter? So if I were to put an LFO down here, and I can see that this LFO has a certain frequency, the frequency is 1, the higher it goes, the faster it goes, the lower it goes, the slower it goes. So at 0, there's actually no movement. So let's leave it at 1, and let's quickly untwirl this little thing here. And we can see that there are actually um, three different little um, fields here. Uh, one of them will allow us to export a channel, and that's really handy if you were to hold down the Alt key and then just drop this on top of here. It gives you the option to export. And here you can see that now these two values have been synced up. It is currently, the frequency is at zero. Um, if you were to click on this, you'll see everything goes to turquoise, and this means that now it is expecting an expression. And this is the constant. So whatever number you put in here is just something that you have to enter, and it, that's what it is. If you go to expression, now you can actually enter an expression. So if we were to enter an expression that allows us to, to figure out what value this channel has, we just always start with op, which stands for operator. Open parentheses and type a single or a double bracket, and then we uh, type the name of the operator, which is not channel, but constant one. And then, if I just were to do this, it would give me an error. And the reason is, is that this expression, when it comes to chops, is going to expect a channel name or a channel number. If I do it the number way, let's say I pick the first channel, and I get zero. And that will immediately bind these two things together. And this is using a Python expression. Always make sure you have Python here as a language, because if you go to T-Script, you'll get an error. It won't work. So make sure it's set to Python. Now, this number represents 0, because this is channel 0, and this would be channel 1. If I wanted to type in the name of the channel, and I typed in my channel, I will get an error as well. And the reason is that this is what we call a string. And so it needs to be put in between quotes so that Python can understand that this is actually a piece of text. Um, and it's going to interpret it as something it can then understand and transform into a piece of data. So I could do the same thing with instead of my channel, I could use second channel. And that will also put give me 0. And so let's say that this one was set to 1 and I will get my frequency of 1. And then I can also just delete this and set this to channel 1. And you'll see that, oops, got to keep the opening bracket, that it will do exactly the same thing. So um, let me just uh, type this in bigger so that you guys can just see the syntax. Uh, basically, the idea is that you always type the name of the operator the name, I mean, not the name of the operator, sorry, the, you just type in op, which stands for operator, which basically tells touch, go and look at this operator, and then operator name, so just put whatever operator name is, and here you want to put or channel number without uh, quotes, or you could do the same thing, um, op name, and then you would put uh, between quotes channel name. So I hope this helps, and a um, quick follow-up lesson will be on how to grab a parameter and, oops, is there a quote here, not a channel.